Easter is in about the next couple of days, I think it is, from when I'm uploading this. So, I just thought, let's have a look at the top five Easter and non-Easter films, because, to be honest, I can't keep putting films down here that I haven't seen. So, yeah, here's the intro. Number five, The Dog Who Saved Christmas. This was released back in 2014, so couple of years ago now. Um, now, I feel like I've heard this title before. There's something that saved maybe Christmas, maybe relating to that. So, if you've seen this film, by guessing, it's probably some sort of situation and the dog has to go and save Easter. Oh. Number four, this one's a bit different though. Easter Bunny Kill Kill Kill. As I was searching up the um, Easter films, I also got some stuff that's got to do with horror as well. This was released back in 2006, and from what I know, Bunny Kill Kill Kill. Number three, Beauty and the Beast, and I'm talking about the old one and the new one. Although that this is one of the non-film ones, I still would recommend it. It's one of those stories where as a child you will remember it because it can teach you some lessons it can. As of in the new one we know that some new actors are in there and also the guy who played Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars with Angel of the Sith and those other ones are also in this one as well which I find it to be quite cool to see him on the big screen again. So, number two, Meet the Robertsons. This was released back in 2007. This one, from I've seen, um, as I was a child, takes from a place where it, it's basically this kid who is science-loved, and from what I know, he goes, from what I remember, he goes back in time to the future and see how everything is. And... It's just one of those movies where it's really, 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 really cool, as I found out as a kid. No honourable mentions, though, but at number one, we've got Hop. This was released back in 2011. This one tells from a rabbit. It does play by um, some British guy. And this is like... One of those Easter films when I would I would definitely say and um, put it as a number one because it has so much relating to Easter and I remember it weren't quite big at the time. So hope you guys enjoyed this list. If you want more, make sure you go and subscribe. I've already got one prepared um, for when this whole Easter schedule thing is actually over, which it will be over on April the seventeenth. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe for more stuff like this. Happy Easter and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.